We're going somewhere special, deep into the heart of Fiordland National Park, way up into the mountains, the Mary Range, to meet two women who live and work up here, spending all their time figuring how to save a teeny little bird species that most of us have never even heard of, let alone seen. I work as part of the Alpine research team and part of my job is to monitor the breeding success of New Zealand's true alpine bird, the rock wren. The team monitor the effects of introduced predators on the birds' nests in these alpine bluffs. The reason why we do this is because they are most acceptable to predation while they are nesting and predation is one of the reasons why rock wren are becoming threatened. We find rock wren nests by going into their habitat and observing what's going on there. When we find a bird, we want to follow it back to its nest. One of the tricks we have up our sleeve for doing this is offering the bird a feather. When rock wren are building their nest, they line them with feathers. So if we offer the bird a feather, often it'll take it right back to its nest. And if we follow it, boom, we found the nest. One of my favourite parts about having this job is getting to know rock wren intimately. We get to observe them all the way through their nesting stages, from laying eggs to incubation and feeding and raising chicks in the nest. And hopefully we get to see them succeed in fledging young from the nest. But the suckiest thing about this job is that we have to watch the nest fail. Um, it's, it's really heartbreaking, but we work in a non-treatment site, which means there is no predator control going on out here. In order to measure the effect of removing predators like stoats, they have to know what happens without predator control. And it's, it is like, it's sad. We, we watch these nests, we watch like nest building stays, we watch the parents like lay the eggs and then they start incubating and we watch the chicks grow from little tiny ugly things to like these really cute little like feathery things and then like one day we'll come back the next day and they're gone. There's no chicks, there's no parents and it's, it's really really sad and we really hate it but we need this data because it proves that predator control does work and that we really do need it to help save New Zealand's native species. The team at Lake Bro is gathering data to contribute to a bigger picture about whether predator trapping at a landscape scale can make a difference for breeding success of rock friends. And the really good news is that we think it's making a big difference um, with predator trapping. The levels of predation are much lower and the fledging success is much higher for rock friends. Um, even though that means for myself and my co-worker, it's heartbreaking to watch these nests fail but we need this data because it proves that predator control helps out here and it helps our birds.